Hello and welcome back to Volatility 411. I'm Kevin Davitt, part of CBOS Options Institute, and this is Monday, February 22nd. Now on a short-term basis, SPX realized volatility is at the lowest levels in 14 months. 10-day SPX historical vol is measuring 5.6%. Now the two-year lows for that measure is 4.35%. Looking out slightly further, the 30-day realized vol reading is 14.5%. And last week, the VIX index continued to chop in a narrow range between 22 and 24. Now, switching gears a bit, the RVX, which is a constant 30-day forward implied vol based on Russell 2000 index options, is measuring over 32. So let's call it a 10-point or 45% premium to VIX. The small caps continue their outperformance relative to large cap indexes. Assuming no huge divergence this week, February will become the sixth consecutive month where the Russell 2000 outperforms the S&P 500. Now in somewhat related news, the performance of industrial materials has been pretty remarkable in recent weeks and months. Things like copper, platinum, and lumber have made massive gains. Copper was up 7% last week alone, and copper is now above the $4 per pound mark, which is quite high relative to longer term averages. Back to VIX and now looking at the futures curve, the front month contract is now March, which is trading around 25.70 as I sit here, with the VIX index around 24.30 this morning. The April futures are nearly three handles over March, so the front of the curve is steep. The middle and the back of the curve remain elevated and at the risk of sounding like a broken record, the month three futures are trading around 29 and the rest of the curve is about within 70 cents of that level, which is unusually high. So for example, in the middle of February last year, the back month futures were trading around 17. That's a markedly different pricing for longer term implied volatility in 2021. All right, that's Volatility 411 for Monday. Thank you very much for tuning in.